Is the earth flat or round? It's round. Oh no, God! Okay, now let's see. How do we go about proving that? Go to the uh, seashore. Go to a seashore and figure out why you can't, if you live on the East Coast, figure out why you can't see Spain. Well, then climb a tower or go to the top of a hill or a mountain and you'll see a little farther but you will not see to the other side of the earth, places we know to exist. Wikipedia is the best thing ever. Anyone in the world can write anything they want about any subject. So you know you are getting the best possible information. For example, I've been to London. I, I can tell you, other people have. I've been to Vancouver, British Columbia. You're so white. And you cannot see Vancouver, British Columbia from, from Boise, Idaho, let alone from New York City or Toronto or what have you. Just start there. Then if, you're, if you'd like, look at pictures from space. Where you see the Earth as a sphere. No! Those pictures are not faked. And I'll tell you, just if nothing else, here's why you can tell they're not faked. Just to create the paperwork that NASA has created, for in NASA in this one case. Just the paperwork. Just the paperwork. Just the paperwork. Sometimes I'll start a sentence, and I don't even know where it's going. I just hope I find it along the way to send anything out in space, to send people into orbit or to send them to the moon. That amount of paperwork would make faking it prohibitively expensive. No one could afford to generate that much, that much documentation. Am I a hero? I really can't say, but yes. And the other thing, if you want to get into this, if you're really serious, if your friends are really serious, have them get on a boat or a ship. Why are you the way that you are? Oh my, now this discovery that the world is round was made, uh, I'm, I'm. You know what they say, fool me once, strike one, but fool me twice. This in 15, it was published in 1540. Strike three. Now, I'm concerned it was Copernicus. I'm concerned it might have been 1530. Am I a hero? But it was about then. It was in the 16th century that the Earth was shown to be a ball. Uh, but it was known to be a ball by a lot of other people before uh, Copernicus in the Western world, the Western world the Western world, 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 the Western world. The ancient Greeks uh, noticed that from time to time, the Earth casts a shadow on the moon. No! And that shadow is always curved, and the only shape that, only, that always produces a curve, no matter what the orientation. That is to say, whether you're standing in Greece at night, or if you're standing then 12 hours later in <laughs> Buenos Aires at night, the curve, the, the shadow is always curved. So the ancient Greeks knew that the earth was a ball. No, God, please, no, no! They didn't know to the degree of, the size of it, to the degree of precision we know now. And you guys, come on. Everybody watches newscasts. You all use mobile phones. You all see airplanes fly around. You all go to uh, see Ed Sheeran in concert. You're so white. One day in London, another day in Melbourne, Australia. This all depends on our fundamental idea understanding of the size of the earth and its shape with extraordinary precision, precision. 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 Why are you the way that you are? And if you want to get into it, the Earth isn't quite a sphere. It's a little bleh, bleh. Precision. 
its spin is a little ugh, stretched it made it slightly oblate as the saying goes i hate so much about the things that you choose to be ah navigation's changed the world by the way what are you wearing you're wearing stuff that came from another part of the world on a ship it didn't get here by magic it got here through science 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 like, no god no god please no no Science.